This video is actually one that has been requested quite a bit and you know oftentimes I focus a lot on fun and funky pieces, more trendy items in my videos or just in my wardrobe in general and I thought that this would be a good one just for like a 101 closet essentials slash wardrobe basics that I recommend you have in your closet. I quickly want to say thanks to Ari for sponsoring this video. We will talk more about it in a minute but I put together a list of about 10 different things that I feel like you absolutely should have in your closet or just ones that I recommend everything from like comfy things, undergarments, jeans, etc. These are gonna be like your go-to ride or die base level things that are going to help you with your wardrobe and you can kind of build the fun and funky and trendy pieces around that. These are the items that I feel like are gonna last a long time like throughout the seasons they never really go in or out of style they're just kind of things that you always can like fall back on and I don't think I've ever done a video specifically like this so let me know if you want to see more of these videos in the future but in the meantime, let's jump into the first closet essential slash classic item that I feel like you might need in your wardrobe. First up, it will probably come as no surprise that a good classic go-to pair of jeans is my number one essential. The first one that I want to recommend because, oh my gosh, it makes the world of difference. You all have seen me try on a lot of pairs of jeans on my channel and I have had a lot of favorites throughout the years, but there's just something about a good broken in classic pair of jeans that you genuinely can't go wrong with. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear heels, sneakers, boots. When you have a good pair of jeans, like a go-to pair of jeans that you love, I feel like any outfit just gets elevated. Like the ones that fit you like a glove, have the right rise that you prefer. Like for me, I prefer an extra high rise, so that's usually what I go for. And I just feel like it makes all the looks you put together a lot more tailored, so that's definitely like where I would start. I know jeans can be difficult to find depending on your body type. I have so so many videos on the topic if you want to check those out down below but there's a reason that jeans have withstood the test of time they have been always in trend there's never been a time where they aren't you know a classic in everyone's wardrobe so definitely had to start off with like a good solid classic pair of jeans next up and arguably the most important essential that I can recommend for your closet is to have just a good staple bra or bralette now when I'm looking for a bra I'm looking for something incredibly comfortable supportive and airy honestly has the best selection that I have found. They are my go-to. You guys know I love that brand. I talk about it so often on my channel. And in case you didn't already know, Airy makes intimates, apparel, activewear, and swim. And Airy's bras and bralettes come in a wide range of styles and they're also designed to fit great but also make you feel good at the same time. They also have a wide range of sizes available everywhere from a size 30A to a size 40 double D and they also have G and H in select styles. I want a bra that I can wear around the house but that I can also wear when I film, I can wear when I go run errands. Like I feel like these bras are definitely the most universal and that's what I love about them. And I'm going to be showing you some of my go-to staple bras and bralettes. The first one being if you are looking for more of a full coverage, really supportive bra. And this is the Airy Real Sunny Full Coverage Lightly Lined Bra, which first of all, I'm obsessed with this brown color. This bra has one of my favorite fabrics that Airy has, which is called Real Soft. It's also really stretchy and very supportive as well. So it's very comfortable. So it offers you the most coverage and cup support for whatever it is that you need And also I find this to be the perfect bra to wear underneath t-shirts Like it's my go-to t-shirt bra. The next one is this airy real free padded bralette Again, another amazing brown color like we've really gone with the brown color palette and I'm obsessed This one has that just like almost doesn't even feel like you're wearing it Like I would actually prefer to wear this than nothing just because it's barely there. It's super soft It's very comfortable, but it's still supportive. This one I I would say is definitely my favorite of the bunch. It's just one of those things that like I always want to be wearing it if that makes sense. It's just, I can wear it to sleep. I wear it lounging around the house. I wear it working, filming. It has definitely been a go-to for me lately, for sure. And then we also have the Airy Real Free Padded Scoop Bralette. So it has this nice little scoop in the front here. It's just very, very comfortable. This one just has the straps built in. So it's not like the tightening like bra straps. This fabric is honestly just so soft. It's moisture wicking. It's just very, very comfortable to wear. Similar to the last one, like it, it doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything, which is what I mostly look for when I'm wearing a bra like I want to barely feel it and to go along with the bras and bralettes I also have a couple matching pairs of underwear like this one which is the thong I also have this one which is the cheeky I love both of these I think they fit great they barely feel like I'm wearing anything they don't show through my clothes which is a huge one they also have incredibly soft loungewear like this little Henley tank here it's honestly so comfortable I would highly recommend all of these as essentials as well 
we also have this boyfriend tee, very comfortable, very oversized. It feels like I'm wearing one of my boyfriend's shirts. I sleep in them, it's so comfy. And then of course, can't live without my sweatshirts and hoodies. So this cropped hoodie is absolutely gorgeous. I love it, it's the softest hoodie I own. So make sure to check the link in the description box below to find a bra that feels good at airy.com and get one of your own. I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. Next up, this may come as no surprise because this is kind of a given, but honestly, I cannot stress enough how important this is, and that is the classic white tee. Me, up until recently, I didn't really appreciate the actual beauty that is just a t-shirt and jeans. Like a classic white tee that is perfectly worn in, super comfortable, soft, like it is honestly unmatched. There's just something about like a well-tailored, well-made, versatile white tee. Like I don't know how to explain it other than, I mean, if you know, you know, but I didn't know until recently. That's the thing. Like I've, I've just been, um, I've just been awoken. You can find a ton of these in thrift shops. Honestly, the more worn in, the better in my opinion. And you can dress them up with accessories, skirts. You can wear them underneath dresses for like a cute little 90s, 2000s look. Like there's honestly so many things you can do with it. Obviously, I don't need to tell you how to wear a white tee, but I really slept on having a good white tee in my wardrobe until recently. So don't be like me and don't realize until well into your 30s that a white tee is a staple to have in your wardrobe because I was missing out all these years and I didn't even know. Next up, we have what I like to call the top. Like you, you pick one of your cute little tops, blouses, what have you, that just make you feel so cute, so confident. And this one does that for me. It's secondhand, I absolutely love it. And for me, it's about finding that one kind of go-to top that you feel like you can always pull out of your closet, you can always feel good in. This one is nice and loose and flowy, so depending on what time of the month it is, I feel comfortable in it because it's not constricting me in any way. I also really like the color and how I feel it sort of accentuates my features, my skin tone, my hair, etc. Again, super versatile. This is something I can wear with jeans or I can dress up a little bit more if I want to go out at nighttime. It's just like a tried and true classic favorite that I feel like everyone needs to have that one top. It's not a t-shirt, it's not a tank top, but it's just the top. You know what I mean? Let me know if you know what I'm talking about with the top down below. It doesn't always have to be the same either. I feel like this, more than any of the items in the video, can probably be interchanged the most depending on like the season. You know, it might be a sweater in the winter time. It might be something like this in the spring or summer. But every now and then you just, you shop for a top and you try it on and you're just like, yeah, this is the one. Like this is the top. Recently I've been into more kind of like milkmaid or puff sleeve style tops, but I've also in the past had more kind of like wrap style tops or tank tops or peasant blouse it totally depends on your mood and your style at the current moment, but this is the one for me. I absolutely love it. I feel like once you have a top that you always know that you feel confident in, you can easily build an outfit around it when you're trying to get dressed and you're like, what do I wear? If you've been watching me since probably like 2018-ish, then this will come as no surprise to you, but bike shorts are so underrated. I've been saying this for years. I'm not saying I'm taking credit for the bike shorts trend by any means, but I definitely got a lot of my friends into bike shorts. There was a moment where it was like a staple part of my identity. They're just the most comfortable thing in the entire world. You can work out in them. You can sleep in them. You can lounge around in them. You can use them as an anti-chafing relief for underneath skirts and dresses. They are honestly one of the things that I can not live without in my wardrobe. Like now, since I've had them over the last few years, I could not ever not have them. Even if they go out of style or they're no longer cute anymore, I will continue to have them because they are just such a staple for me. I've done videos testing out different bike shorts. I've talked about my favorite bike shorts and videos in the past. They're honestly just an absolute must have in my closet at all times for when I'm putting together outfits, like wearing underneath dresses and skirts, like I mentioned, or just wearing around the house. Like I cannot live without them. Another thing that I constantly mentioned a lot in 2018, 2019 is flannels. Now I have such a love for flannels. I will never let go of them. And I feel like they're all also more versatile than you think. So for example, you can wear them just as like an over kind of like light jacket type of thing. You can button them up and tie them up and wear them as a shirt. You can tie them around your waist and have it be a little accent to an outfit that kind of adds like a fun, funky 90s flair. And I used to sort of fall under the umbrella of flannels or a trend, but now I feel like they're just kind of around more. Like I feel like they're a staple. I truly think that a flannel with like a white tee like this or a cute little crop top or 
tank top or something underneath and like a good pair of jeans is a must have. Like it's a go-to outfit for me. It was definitely my go-to outfit when I would go to places like theme parks or places where I knew I'd be out during the day and it'd be warm and sunny. But then at nighttime I would like a little bit of coverage so I could just kind of like untie it from my waist and then wear it as a light jacket and it was perfect. So yeah, it might seem like a pretty straightforward piece but I honestly love flannels and think that everyone needs them in their wardrobe. I just do. Next we have a staple jacket that works for where your wardrobe is currently at at the time. So depending on what your style is, it could be something like a blazer, a windbreaker, a pea coat, a denim jacket, a leather jacket. This one I got secondhand and I have been obsessed with it. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, obviously, but I am so excited to wear this out and about. Rooftop bars. And I feel like a jacket can really make or break a look. Like sometimes a jacket just makes everything look so put together. Cause like I mentioned before, you know, just a basic white tee, some plain jeans, and then this jacket, like I do look put together. When really I didn't do anything. Like I'm just, I'm adding, I'm, I'm layering staples basically. Take a shot every time I say staples, basic, go-to or classic in this video. You're welcome. A jacket I feel like just really is like the cherry on top and it really just makes everything look so much more stylish, more fashionable, more put together and I love it. Next up for me, we have something that I feel like is a non-negotiable. It totally depends on your style and what you like wearing, but I think that you cannot do any better than like a classic go-to dress. This dress was actually thrifted for me by my sweet friend Alexa Sunshine 83. She always finds me the cutest stuff at the thrift stores. She actually got this for me for Christmas, but there were like severe package delays, so I didn't end up getting it until afterwards. But look how cute this is. I just love the way it fits. I love the way a dress is like a complete outfit. On those days where I don't really know what I want to wear, I highly recommend trying a dress because it's a complete look all in one. You don't have to find tops or bottoms and try to mix and match. You can literally just put it on and the best part about dresses in my opinion is that it looks really cute and put together but it feels kind of like you're wearing pajamas like I don't know what more you could want dresses like this you could wear with sneakers you could wear with combat boots you could wear with cute little strappy sandals like there are so many different ways to wear it you could throw like a leather jacket on top a denim jacket you could wear a white t-shirt underneath like there are so many different ways to play around with dresses there's all different kinds of lengths they're short midi like this one there's long I honestly could not recommend a staple, never gonna let you down, ride or die dress enough. It is very crucial for my wardrobe. Next we have shoes. Now shoes are again personal and totally dependent on what your style is, but I do feel like if you haven't been able to tell by this video, for me like comfort is in and everything else is out. I think that having a cute, comfortable pair of shoes that you can walk around in forever is so needed in a good wardrobe. I used to wear shoes that used to give me such bad blisters and I would feel so uncomfortable standing in them for long periods of time and I've just recently in the last couple years decided to just take that right out of my wardrobe and out of my life. So this is just a pair of combat boots that I absolutely love. They're zip up, they're stretchy on the sides, they're comfortable, they're nice and broken in. I wear them basically with everything. I wear them with dresses, I wear them with skirts, I wear them with jeans, pants. They're genuinely a massive staple. If you watch my videos, you probably know. It doesn't have to be a pair of boots. It can be a pair of sneakers. I always usually have a go-to pair of white sneakers for every year. It can be your favorite pair of sandals. It can be your favorite rain boots, whatever it is that you feel comfortable and confident in is huge. So for these, they're a very comfy shoe, but they're also stylish. So I can throw them on with like a pair of jeans, a cute tee, and I feel like I have a complete look and it's very put together and just super stylish without even really trying. And I don't have to worry about walking around and getting a ton of blisters if I was when I would wear like heels or something like that. It's just comfortable and cute at the same time. Can't say enough good things about it. And last but not least, I had to mention some accessories. I feel like just having some good staple classic accessories is what takes your outfit from just kind of like every day to like next level. If you have a stacked necklace set like this, it takes just a basic white tee and it elevates it. If you have rings that you really love, if you have hair accessories, bags, jewelry, etc., like there's just so many different ways you can go with it. But this is what I chose because I feel like it's kind of my go-to now. 
lately I don't feel like an outfit is complete without it. It's where you can have a little bit of fun in your wardrobe. It's just the best because you can take any accessory, customize it to your style, and then just mix and match it with all the things that you own, and it's truly my fave. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I just want to say another huge thanks to Ari for sponsoring this video. Let me know if there were any closet essentials slash wardrobe essentials that you think I missed down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.